So today we're here at the exercise facility where the astronauts come out and train on some of the equipment that's on board the uh, space station. And here with me today we have Lisa Plout Snyder. She is the lead scientist for exercise uh, physiology and countermeasures. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you for coming. Um, first of all, we were going to talk to you a little about a um, study that is currently ongoing. I believe there, it happened once. Um, started with a crew that is now down and they're also participating in this study now. That study is called SPRINT. And so first, um, just talk to us a little about what SPRINT is. Give us an, a brief overview, if you will. Um, SPRINT is an exercise research study that looks at an integrated exercise program using aerobic and resistance exercise. And we're trying to come up with the most efficient exercise prescription to optimize the cardiovascular system, skeletal muscle, and bone. And it builds off of about two decades of previous NASA research evaluating individual systems and for the first time is trying to bring together an integrated program to develop the best countermeasures for overall fitness. That's a mouthful. And um, so explain to me exactly what um, specifically is the crew doing, what kind of activities are they doing that would be different from what their normal uh, exercise program would be? Yeah, there are two main parts to the sprint program. The first part is a set of ground-based tests before and after flight to provide a really thorough assessment of the cardiovascular muscle and bone systems. And so these include maximal aerobic testing, um, different muscle power, muscle endurance, muscle strength, variety of muscle performance tests. Um, a muscle biopsy, as well as measurements for bone, including QCT and DEXA. And so with these measurements pre and post flight, we'll get a really thorough assessment of the crew's physiologic function. And the second part of the study employs an in-flight component where they perform a, a new exercise prescription on ISS. They use all of the same ISS equipment, but the way the exercises are prescribed is a little bit different. So. Um, we include aerobic intervals, and that's how the study got its name, the sprint. So they do some sprinting on the cycle and the bicycle where they go at high intensity for short bouts and then have a rest period. And we also have resistance exercise on the A-RED that they perform three days a week. Okay, so currently uh, the crew is exercising two hours every day. Will that change with this experiment? Are they, are they resting any time? Yeah, this experiment um, is evaluating a higher intensity exercise prescription that can be done for shorter amounts of time and less frequently. Now, so are they um, more worn out the next day? I mean, uh, they're going to have this rest of time, but they're actually basically what I'm hearing from you is that there's a more intense workout. So is it problematic at all on the rest period? Well, so far it, it's exceeded our expectations, but we've only had one person complete the study, but so far it seems to be working really well. So, so far we have positive data. Now, so one of the um, crew members who actually did the study is down, and we can't talk about personal data, but can you share with us if there was positive data from that study? Yeah, he, did, he exceeded our expectations, and it, it went very well, um, especially for the first person, both in terms of the implementation, there's a lot of new communications necessary in this study. One of the things I didn't mention before is that um, another novel part of the study is we evaluate how they're doing during their whole mission. So every 30 days they perform VO2 max tests, which tests the maximal aerobic capacity. That's that thing Lance Armstrong is really good at, correct? That's right. <laughs> One of the things. <laughs> And we test that every 30 days so that we can keep uh, an eye on their aerobic fitness and then we can adjust the prescription as necessary up or down depending how they're doing. We also have for the first time measurements on ISS of muscle ultrasound. So we're using the new ultrasound system to make measurements of the leg muscle size and the crew members scan themselves and make measurements of their own muscle size and we compare that with the the loads they're doing on a red to determine how well they're doing for the resistance exercise and we can adjust the prescription accordingly and so this involved a lot of new implementation of communications to get this data quickly and coordinated so both from the implementation standpoint and from the performance standpoint our first subject was a great success. Awesome. Well, so first of all, let's just go ahead and talk about some of this equipment that we have. I understand there are three main pieces. We have 
One right here behind us, this is the advanced resistive exercise device. And what other pieces of equipment are you using during this study? So all of our resistance exercises are performed on the ARAD or the advanced resistance exercise device. There's also a treadmill and a cycle up on, on the space station. And in the sprint program, the, the participants exercise on both of those, um, at least two thirds of their aerobic exercise on the treadmill. So a little okay. more treadmill than cycle. Okay, great. So um, I know we know what the uh, cycle is and a treadmill is, but the advanced um, resistive exercise device basically is a, um, a piece of equipment that simulates weightlessness here on Earth. Thank you very much for coming um, by and talking to us about the sprint study.